Hey everybody, dgooden 24 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new game called Speedway Ringer. Speedway Ringer is a game made by my friend Brian Blackford. Yes, that's right. One person made this game. So when you're watching this gameplay, please understand that this is a game made by one person, not a group of people or a team or a big studio. So there's going to be a lot of things going on and it may not look the most amazing, but one person made it. You got to cut him, cut him a break. So I kind of talked about this game at the end of my action girls racing video and, uh, he was kind enough to send me a beta code, and I believe this is supposed to come out next month. Um, this is a top-down racer, kind of like Circuit Superstars, um, but mainly ovals and NASCAR-ish. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. If I can move my big head here, you see we've got Race Online, Test, Profile Settings, and Quit. So the Race Online portion isn't really working at the moment. Because there's, it's like me and maybe a few other people have a key right now, so I, I couldn't just go in and join a race right now. So um, you could host a race, and there's training. I don't believe any of this is working right now. I uh, I tried, and it's he told me that it's kind of broken. So uh, I'm not gonna be doing any of this, but it's just kind of like some 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 little training activities, obviously for you to do. So like pitting and running ten clean laps and all that stuff. So. We're not going to get to do that today. This is, um, I would say, mainly an online game. There's no AI to race against. This is mainly to race people online and your friends. So, sadly, there's no offline racing. I'm sure it's something he's hoping to do in the future, but as of right now, that's not something that's going to happen. Uh, if you go to Profile, we have some different options here, different paint schemes. As you can see, he's based a lot of these schemes off of... Uh, off of uh, some real world cars uh plus i guess you can, can you can make your own so we've got like an unreal engine car that looks like jeff burton's car uh got the joe nemechek beef bro car and you know that looks like the sun drop dale car so lots of cool little schemes here i'm not really sure how to make my own but whatever uh we will go ahead and race as the beef bro car so that's kind of funny uh and then here's your basic settings um I'm sure there's a lot of uh, different things here. So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the test mode. I'm going to show you these tracks and show you exactly what this game has to offer from just the gameplay driving uh, perspective. So there are options for tire wear. You can go off, ultra low, low, medium, high, ultra high. So we'll just stick with high. And he's giving you different horsepower options. Holy cow. So we're going to start with the 700 one, and we're going to race at America's Short Track. I'm using a controller. I believe you can use this or a mouse and keyboard or whatever. I've, I've tried it. I made like two laps. So I just wanted to make sure that the game worked. Uh, I know it's still he's still working on it, so there are lots of things that he still needs to work on. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get on track here as... All right, as you can see, it's a top-down racer. Uh, whoops, as we've put it in the wall already, and I have obviously some. I have to get used to this. It's a it's a little different than than Circuit Superstar, at least on the feeling wise. Uh, it's going to take some getting used to. As I I cannot stop overdriving the corner. I'll run a couple more laps, and I'll just be quiet. If I can turn. If you hit the start button, you can adjust your car. So I'm going to make it a little bit looser and make changes. I don't know if I have to pit to do that. Or if it just... Okay. Oh, it does. Okay, so that's kind of cool. You can merge safely and all that stuff. There's a little spotter. But all right, I'll just be quiet and I'll run a few laps. As you can see, there's some damage on my right side from hitting the wall. That's cool. As you can see there, I hit the apron and the car got way out of shape. So. 
that's that's pretty neat. Uh, I'm kind of glad that it has different banking, so I can't just run the apron just for giggles as I'm now in the wall again. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to leave the track. Oops, I just crashed. We're going to leave the track, and I'm going to try it again. Let's put this thing on high horsepower, 1,200 horsepower. Let's see how this this goes. I'm a little uh, a little nervous to see how this how this thing drives. Okay, drive. Oh man, so it's automatic uh, shifting. I don't have to press any buttons. I'm sure that's something that will will be edited in. I think it was in at one point. Oh, I can already feel the speed difference. Oh my. gonna go, I'll go all the way well oh, that feels better Once you get used to it, this is actually really fun to drive even by yourself, just trying to, to nail the perfect lap, as I'm not doing that right now. Goodness gracious. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, crash this thing and see what it looks like. Oh my! We're on fire. Our spotter just completely had a stroke, and we're going to send this thing back to pit lane. I think I, I, I'm, I've been giving it gas and nothing's happening, so we're, we're just coasting with a blown up engine to the infield. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. And yeah, we're stuck, so we can't go anywhere. Let's go ahead and leave the track. Let's try the next track. And I'm going to leave it at, well, let's just do a thousand horsepower. Now we're going to Concrete Jungle. This looks interesting. I, oh my goodness. Wow, what what is this track based off of? Maybe maybe Martinsville? I... No, that's not long enough for Martinsville. Interesting. This is like a little bull ring. Oh my gosh. Does not want to turn. Oop. Oh, well, I guess I, I've pretty much made it as loose as I can. Oh my gosh, it doesn't turn. It does not turn. I'm going to have to break like at the start-finish line. Gonna get the thing way slowed down and with all the horsepower that we have you know we get to, we just power off the corner I just can't get the thing slowed down oh my God. okay that was too slow ah we almost hit the uh, the inside wall even Oh, that was way too much. Way too much. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, there's a, a lot of, a lot of off throttle time. So, all right, that's the concrete jungle as we're going to, oh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and blow the car up again. All right, let's try the next one. Test Greenville. Huh, this is. I don't know what this is actually. Uh, we'll just try the 700 horsepower here. I think he tried to base a lot of these tracks off of real world tracks, but I, I, I honestly don't know um, what they all are. I have only drove like one of these tracks bef within my quick little session before getting uh, this video started. So as I'm already in the wall, as you can see, we've got some right side damage already. Oh my gosh, it's, we just can't, my, that's my biggest problem. I can't get the car slowed down. It feels like I'm breaking off early. I can't find that good middle ground of, of, it feels like I'm over slowing it when I run the bottom. And it feels like if I drive it in a little bit deeper, look how high up I go. Just does not, 
does not want to turn. And again, it could be me, it could be my controller, it could be a number of things. But I would really like to race with somebody online uh, at some point when I find someone to do that with or get something set up. I will record that for you guys and, and we'll show you. But right now I'm just... As we've, as we've blown a tire, as you can see, as we just lose it into the corner, that's pretty cool. And yeah, so tires down. Let's go ahead and reset the car. I'll give this a couple more tries here. Oh. Oh, we're just doing burn it. All right, well. Well, you saw that track. Let's go to the next one. Uh, Tennessee Valley. This looks like Darlington. It looks like it, but... Oh, wow. That's yeah, very banked. Or is this a Bristol hybrid? I don't know. We'll see how big it is. We are just right... Right in the middle of pit road here. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, this is this is Darlington. Well, I don't know. It's very fast. There's a lot of banking here. It it, it looks like Darlington just because of all the the apron that you're not using. I'm not sure. Cuz I am having a hard time driving. Oh my goodness. Uh, I also I've been told there's dynamic tracks like all these tracks are dynamic so parts of the track should heat up and become faster or slower over time which is cool because iRacing does not have that anymore I think that was a, a lot of that premise because everybody loved it so much and they got rid of it and so he wanted to add that to his game so that's cool we obviously can't tell based off just one car being on track right now as this, this is a fun little track to drive, to be honest with you. Barely kept it off the wall. Oh, man, it's like I'm sliding down the straightaway into the corner. Hey, we're on fire here. Right? I need the safety down there. Okay, so... We're on fire again, but it looks like it's just, uh, we can't see it. So, alright, we'll try the next track. Uh, the beach. Oh, this is this kind of looks like Daytona. Oh, loading screen's a little rough there. That looks good though. I believe this is an Unreal Engine. The game does look nice for what it is, especially uh, his first time making a game at all for one person. I'll say that. I mean, oh, <laughs> whoops. Reset the car. I'll try that again. Clearly, I was speeding on pit road there. No, it kind of... I don't know what this track is based off of. It kind of gives me a little bit of Nazareth vibes, maybe? Nope. Because we've got some front end... I can't even get onto the track. How do I back up? Just reset the car again. Goodness gracious, I'm struggling. Oh, oh, it didn't want to turn. So it already got damaged. There's pit, pit road entries all the way in three. Oh my gosh, it just went straight. There's a restart zone there. Oh my gosh, as I've put the thing in the fence. I, I, I have got a lot to learn on how this game operates on the driving perspective. I am not doing great. I can't get the car slowed down for the corner. Which is, honestly, it's good because I'm not full throttle around. It's just kind of muscle memory. Just breaking way too late. Looks like the fender rod blew a tire. And we've blown a tire. That's pretty, that change. that's pretty cool. All right, I think we got one more track here. The county. We'll test that real quick. And okay, so I believe this, like, it... This is like if you're hosting a lobby or whatever, and you can see everybody down here who would be 
uh, joining in. As this looks like, I don't, I don't know. Oh, that was interesting. The car does kind of act weird sometimes when getting up to speed. It's like it's not doing it correctly. I, I don't know. Once we get going here, it's all right. Definitely have to wait on that thing to rotate mid-corner. Gosh, it's so freaking tight. Once again, I'm probably just making all sorts of... Just doing things not 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 great. That seemed to help a little bit. That little click there. Yeah. So this is essentially Speedway Ringer. This is uh, what it's going to drive like. You're just going to have other cars on the track with you. There is lots of room here for, for growth and improvement, but I think that so far he's got a good little basis here, and whenever I can race with people uh, online, we'll bring that to you. But, I mean, right now this feels really good, actually. That one little click made, made all the difference. That's cool. I like it. I like it. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I wanted to see the 100 horsepower. I want to see what that's like. Because that doesn't seem like a lot. Like we're racing little doom buggies or something. Okay. Alright, we'll see how slow we go here. So far, it's taking a long time to get up to speed. As <laughs> we are going at a, a very fast 47 miles an hour, 48. I I have no idea. I have no idea if 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 this is correct or if there's just a little bug, but we're just going 49 miles an hour, so that's funny. So guys, uh that is or this is Speedway Ringer. Uh lot to look forward to with this game. I believe he's uh, aiming for a launch uh, in April. I don't know exactly when that's going to be. Obviously, he still has work to do on it. And uh, add it to your Steam wish list uh, if if you feel like you wanted to support him in, in this game. Um, this, is, this is a lot for one person, and it's pretty impressive. Uh, I'm going to support it. I hope you guys do, too. Uh, and when I can bring you more gameplay, I will. So that was the first look at Speedway Ringer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.